Welcome to this SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi, I'm Caitlin, SnapEd educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension, and today we'll be talking about kale. The My Plate suggests to make half of your plate fruits and vegetables. Luckily, they come in a variety of flavors, textures, and colors, so even if you didn't like one fruit or vegetable, you might like another one. But with all this variety, it can be hard to keep track of how to store and use each one. That's why in today's video, we'll be highlighting kale. From the store, to your kitchen, to your plate, you'll learn how to get the most out of your kale and save a little bit of money along the way. Vegetables are organized into five subgroups depending on their nutrient content. Kale, along with other dark leafy greens, are in the dark green vegetable group. Similar to dairy, this group of vegetables has calcium, a mineral that's really important for our bones. It also contains B vitamins, which help our cells grow and stay healthy. Kale grows well in cooler months, but it can be available all year round. Try to buy them in season or on sale for the best deal. If possible, check out your local farmer's markets because they'll have the freshest varieties and they might have incentive programs to help you stretch your SNAP dollars. You can buy kale frozen. This is a really time and money saving option and easy to have on hand. If you're buying kale fresh, you may have seen this curly variety before, but kale also comes in a variety of textures, colors, and flavors. So maybe you've seen kale with a purple stem, or maybe you've seen a red variety before. Unlike other leafy greens, kale tends to be really rough and fibrous, so if you're buying them up for a salad, try to find smaller leaves. These will be a bit more tender and less bitter, and save your larger leaves for cooking. Whichever you choose, make sure the leaves are firm with a dark color. Avoid wilted or discolored brown or yellow leaves. Kale can be stored in a bag for three to five days. Try to store it in the coolest part of your fridge or in a crisper drawer. The flavor becomes stronger and more bitter the longer it's stored, so try to use it as soon as possible. Once you're ready to prepare your kale, wash your hands with warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds. Remove any wilted or discolored leaves, then wash your kale with cool water. Then pat the leaves dry with a clean towel. Now let's talk about preparing kale. Most of the recipes will ask you to remove the stem or the spine of the kale because they can be fairly tough. You can do this by hand with a knife or clean kitchen scissors. If you didn't want to waste the stems, you can blend them into a smoothie or homemade pesto. You can chop them up and toss them in a stew or a soup, but they might just take a bit longer to cook to become tender. With the stems removed, kale can be added in any recipe that calls for leafy greens. You can have them fresh in a salad or maybe use them as a wrap to replace bread or tortilla. For me, I like cooking my kale in dishes with lots of flavors, spices, and herbs, since they can be a bit bitter compared to other greens. You can add them into a stir fry, pasta dish, or chili. They can also be a great side dish when sauteed or baked with other vegetables. Or just keep it simple by steaming the kale, then seasoning it with lemon juice, some olive oil, a little bit of salt, and pepper. Like spinach, cooking kale will make it shrink in size. With this in mind, that means we'll actually need two cups of raw leafy greens to equal a one cup serving of vegetables. So there you go, that's kale. A bit tough, but delicious when made right. If you are looking for more recipes on how to incorporate kale, check out our website, snapedny.org. I hope you enjoy your next kale recipe and thank you for joining me. And remember, Small changes can make a big difference, so how else can you make half your plate fruits and vegetables? It starts with just one small change, and we are here to help. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with SNAP-Ed New York. The program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP-Ed can make a difference in your life. 
For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material was funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP. This institution is an equal opportunity provider.